We're going to continue the debate now, the gun debate, with Cam Edwards, the host of Cam and Company on NRA News Radio and the 40 Acre Fool podcast. We also have Leslie Marshall, radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. Cam, let me start with you. Uh, the NRA is going to endorse Donald Trump today. Are you happy about that? You know, I'll wait and see what the uh, announcement is. I'm hearing this from you, actually, so we'll wait and hear what uh, Chris Cox has to say. But, uh, I, I, you know, I don't think anybody was expecting the NRA to come out and endorse Hillary Clinton today. That's for sure. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> uh, Leslie, uh, you know, Donald Trump, it's very clear that he is very pro-Second Amendment. This is in sharp contrast to Hillary Clinton. Will this be a huge, huge issue in this election? I think it actually could be because obviously Democrats are very much in favor of what uh, Secretary Clinton is proposing and that is actually an area of division among Democrats as you know Gretchen uh, because of the uh, voting record historically with regard to gun control measures of Bernie Sanders. The problem here is that the people that support Hillary are going to support her measures with regard to gun control, expanded background checks, not taking away those gun-free zones, perhaps even expanding them. And the opposite can be said for Donald Trump and what he said as of late compared to what he wrote years ago in his book uh, with regard, he's done a 360 on this issue. But what about the people, the centrists, the moderates, the independents who liberal social issues, fiscal, they're more conservative, right. where are they going to lie? Because I think they're going to be the ones that make this decision. And I'm not sure this issue uh, will split them or push them to one candidate or the other alone. It's a great point because the recent Fox News poll, Donald Trump was clobbering Hillary Clinton among independents by 16 points. I don't know how that would be on this specific issue. But Cam, I want you to mm -hmm. listen to what Donald Trump said after the Paris terror attacks, what his take was on how that situation could have been different if there were more guns with private citizens. Listen to this. Paris is one of the places in the world that's toughest on guns, all right? And France. So you had all of these people sitting in these different places, no protection whatsoever. If you had 25 people in there that had guns, okay? It would have been a totally different story, folks. And you would have had death, but it would have been their death. So, Cam, this is what Donald Trump agrees with now, and he's also calling to eliminate gun-free zones at schools, as Leslie just uh, alluded to, and on military bases, both places where we have seen a lot of violence. Cam, what do you think about that? Absolutely. Well, look, it's not just Donald Trump saying this. Ron Noble, the former head of Interpol this week, out with a video talking about the attack at the Westgate Mall in Nairobi, Kenya, that lasted for four days. Now, Ron Noble's a guy who's a, uh, he still believes in some gun control measures, but he also believes in the power of the armed citizen. Uh, the good guy with a gun really can stop a bad guy with a gun. There's no way that you can harden every target in this country or throughout the world. And so there is a place for responsible law-abiding gun owners to protect themselves, their families, and those around them. And Leslie, of what Cam just said, what would you disagree with? Well, I would uh, look. I am in favor of the Second Amendment, but I have rights too. I have rights to send my children to school without other people having or owning guns. And in addition to that, if guns really make us safer, then how come we had more mass shootings last year than we've had in ages? And gun ownership is at an all-time high. And every time there's an attack, more people buy guns, but that hasn't made us safer. So honestly, if everybody having a gun would make us safer, I would sign up. But the, the statistics and the facts don't, just don't bear that to be true. So I don't feel, I, as I a parent or a that. citizen, I, safer if everyone around me is, is packing a weapon because you don't always... The problem is, if you don't have a background check at a gun show and a bad guy is getting a gun, as you talk about, Cam, uh, then that person is not there necessarily to save you or I or our kids. They could hurt you or I or okay, our children. Okay, so Cam, how do you respond to Leslie and what she just said about gun violence rising even though more people apparently are buying guns? Well, first of all, violent crime has been declining for the past two and a half decades in this country, even as more Americans have been owning firearms. As 13 million Americans become concealed carry holders, violent crime has been dropping in this country. Now, last year, look, we did see an increase in homicides, but we saw an increase largely in cities like Washington, D.C., Chicago, Baltimore, Maryland, Los Angeles, California, which has some of the most restrictive gun control laws on the books, saw a 126% increase in aggravated assaults last year. Bad guys don't care what the gun laws are. These laws are aimed at the law-abiding gun owners in this country trying to minimize and narrow what it means to exercise your right to keep and bear arms. We should mention that Donald Trump has said that he's a lifetime member of the NRA uh, and that his sons have an appreciation for hunting. 
and uh, you can find out all of his viewpoints at his website as well. It's very explanatory there. I want to take you back to how both of these candidates talked about the Oregon shooting at the school there a couple of months ago and how their opinions were completely different from one another. Here's Trump and Clinton. And you can make the case that it would have been a lot better had people had guns because they had something to fire back. You say you can make that case. Do you make that case? Well, I would, I would say that it couldn't be much worse. I think the police did a great job. They got there quickly and they were able to kill them. But you can I can make the case that if there were guns in that room other than his, fewer people would have died, fewer people would have been so horribly injured. We need to go back and with all of our hearts working not just in Washington, but from the grassroots up, demand that we have universal background checks. We have to close the loopholes. You know, we've got what's called the gun show loophole, and we've got what's now being called the Charleston loophole. All right, we just heard both candidates, Cam and Leslie. I'm going to get your comments on that. Right after this, Fox News has learned that the NRA will endorse Donald Trump today and his candidacy for president. But we are keeping a close eye on this. In the meantime, let's continue our discussion with Cam Edwards, host of the Cam and Company on NRA News Radio and the 40 Acre Fool podcast. Leslie Marshall, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor. Before we went to break, to the both of you, we were listening to the diver diverging opinions on gun control with regard to what had happened in Oregon a few months ago. Uh, Donald Trump definitely saying that if, if more people had concealed carry, less people would die in these types of events. Cam. Look, I, I think it's the same argument that he made when he talked about the attacks in, in Paris or the attacks in uh, San Bernardino. Uh, when it comes to the campus carry issue, you can see what's happened in states that have adopted this law. Utah passed a campus carry law more than a decade ago. Colorado passed theirs in 2003. And, you know, violent crime has decreased on uh, campuses in both of those states. These are people who are already lawfully carrying uh, throughout society. Why would we expect them to be any different when they set foot on a college campus? It's interesting, Leslie, because Liberty University, I believe, was one of the first and maybe only institutions to also say that they would allow that to happen on their campus. Your thoughts? Of millions of Americans. I have a problem with this, I really do, because one of the things, I have to say, left and right that are not addressed uh, with you know, broad sweeping generalizations with regard to legislation is we're not addressing a multifaceted approach to a multifaceted problem. Uh, neither left or right is addressing mental illness. Uh, universal background checks are overwhelmingly supported by Americans regardless of their ideology and even if they're gun owners. And different states are varying. Here in California, they have uh, ballot uh, measures and initiatives uh, to require background checks for ammunition. Other states are trying to get rid of gun-free zones and allow people to uh, carry weapons, as Cam said, on campuses. Uh, the, the bottom line is that uh, my problem would be, and I'm not a Trump supporter, for those that say they support Trump, he's not been consistent with the rhetoric I think that we're going to hear him say with regard to his opinion on guns and the Second Amendment to this NRA audience. And I would, as a, a voter, if I were voting for him, I would be concerned, is he just saying what I want to hear to get my vote? Hillary Clinton has been consistent with regard to gun control measures her entire career, even prior to her being senator when she was first lady, and even prior okay. to that, back to Wellesley College days in Massachusetts. All right. Uh, the both of you, thank you very much.